Hey all, it's Tom. Uh, what this is, is a, um, this is the M724 Rescue Knife from Colonial, from their auto series. Now, just a little brief history. Hello. Um, play with my grandkids. Anyway, back of World War II, uh, sh actually Charade Company was making these for uh, paratroopers, Basically, what they're designed to do is you get hung up in a tree or something, you got your shroud cutter to cut your chute loose, and an automatic knife to cut webbing and stuff loose that you needed to, your weapons and whatnot. Um, so, you know, if you only had one hand free, you could operate this. And they did the same thing in Korea, but there was only a limited number of airborne drops in Korea. But in the 60s, Colonial took it over. And they started issuing what they call the rescue knives to smoke jumpers and whatnot. In case you don't know, uh, firefighters that fight like the fires in Canada right now and stuff, they actually dropped them in like a parachutist to fight the fire in the middle of nowhere. So they need, you know, rescue equipment and everything else. So same deal. Smoke jumper goes in, gets hung up in a tree. He's got the equipment to cut himself loose and his equipment. Don't save his life, possibly. So then, they started issuing them to our dirt dart paratroopers. And, um... So, basically, what you tied this to a bale around, um... Well, we used to carry them right behind our reserve chutes tied to our jackets. But you only had one hand to get free. You could grab the knife, cut your shroud loose, cut your webbing loose. Um... So, that, that's what it was designed to do. So, this is the M724 Rescue Knife. So, let's get on with it. Uh, this weighs one ounce. It's got a five-inch handle. Shroud cutter and the blade on this knife is made from 440A cutlery steel. And, uh, yeah, it's got an uh, isoplastic handle. It's made like uh, you find them on drills and power tools and you know, in things that are indestructible now this one here is a special one um, Steve over at Colonial sent me this and I just wanted to show you guys that uh, you know if you came down somewhere and you know you got your your shrouds loose one-handed operation This is a U.S. made made blade, and this is for Jump Fest 2023. Colonial's been um, supplying knives for Jump Fest now for many decades. Love the parachute wings. So there is a lock on this blade. Um, you can lock it in when it's open, and it becomes you know locks the blade up. You can unlock it, hit the button, then your blade's loose. Now, let me tell you, loading this is a whole lot of fun. This is a heck of a spring on here. So, this is the lock here, you just lock it up. You can't do anything with it. Unlock it. And, uh, There you go. So it does have a bale here for attaching, uh, you know, para crowd, parachute line shrouds, stuff like that. Now the dog tag comes off. Obviously, you don't want to carry that with you anywhere. So they do make, believe it or not, Colonial makes a bunch of military blades. They make a nice electrician's EOD knife. Um. And there's another model to this. This is the rescue knife, so it's an orange. There's another model to this. It's black. Now, along with everything, you get a, a lifetime warranty with Colonial. And what this says is, if any Colonial knife fails to perform properly in normal use due to a defect in material or workmanship, Colonial will repair or replace free of charge. All right. There's the information on it. it. 
So, I'd like to thank Steve and Colonial Knife for sending this down. This uh, brings back some memories. It do, it do. It's, uh, you know, if literally, uh, not just because of you have to be a parachutist or something like that to pick up one of these knives. I mean, if you're in a search and rescue unit or something like that, this might be a good thing to carry because you do have a strap shroud cutter. You do have an automatic knife to grab one-handed if you have to. You know, rescue orange. So, it, it, a knife for everybody. This could even go into a collection. I mean, this is the 2023 Jump Fest. The knives that you would buy normally doesn't have this on it, but I guess you could buy one of these. But it normally doesn't have this on it, just a plain blade. Like I said, it is 440A cutlery seal. And, uh, yeah, they're great little knives. You know, I don't know how I could do it, but it's razor sharp. I got to get this tripod working again. But Steve over at Colonial, you know, it's been in the family since, uh, 1926. And I do believe with the closing of Ontario that this is the oldest independently owned knife company in America. The oldest. As Camillus is now owned by, um, some Japanese company. And Case is owned by another company. And, um, as far as I heard. And, uh, Colonial is still owned by the same family. So anyway, it's a little history there. But like I said, this is a, a great knife. I, you don't even know it's in your hand. It's so light. So if you, you did put a, a paracord on the bail and hook it to your pants or hook it to your, you know, if you are jumping, you know, hook it into your pocket or something like that so you'd have it for emergency use. You don't even know it's there. Even for backpackers, you, you know, you got a nice, well, it's a switchblade so I wouldn't go walking around with it. But, uh, you know, it's got many, many, many uses. Police services, I guess it's search and rescue units, stuff like that. So, that wraps it up. And this is the end of the, uh, the video. So, I want to thank you for your time and your patience. Don't forget to share out the video. And we will see you guys on the next one.